Hello everyone. All right, sorry it's been a minute, but we have a big unboxing for you today. Uh, real quick, I want to say congratulations to our winner for our giveaway. Um, it's long overdue, but um, Creative Fun or at Creative Fun Stuff is our winner of our uh, Yushin Little Magic 2x2, two two, and I want to say congratulations to you. Uh, that's going out today. Um, and then our new giveaway is going to start, so I want to announce that. Uh, we're going to be doing an RS3M V5 standard this week. Uh, this week is just going to be a standard cube, and then next week I have some modification cube uh, ideas that we're going to do. So uh, yeah, this week it'll be the RS3 v 5 standard. Next week we'll do some modification stuff and uh, get back into that. Uh, just trying to get back into the groove of things, but wanted to announce that ASAP since I know I'm behind on the giveaways. But um, yeah, RS3 v 5 standard. Like, subscribe, and comment if you want to enter. Um, and yeah, good luck everyone. So let's get into this unboxing because it's a big one and it's gonna <laughs> feel like it's gonna be a long one. So get strapped in and let's let's do this. So um, let's put this. I actually just got this at a garage sale. So old retro cube, but I really do have a, a big box this week. Let's see here. Okay, um, we have the Moyu Alfu seven by seven. We have the Vin Cube, which people have been asking about for a while, and this is the UV coated version. We have the Moyu WRM V9 20 magnet version. We have some different lubes. We have Angstrom Dignitas Gravitas. We have Maglev kit and the Moyu blank center caps. Uh, weight three silicone from Cubicle. We got a Cubicle custom bag. We also got the uh, New Year's bag, and then also uh, some other loops. We got FC Rush, and then I got the blue DNM. I don't know why I prefer it. it; just keeps your cube looking a little newer. And then another R3 MV5 for the future giveaways. Um, we also got the Shangshao Magic Clock. Uh, I got this for a buddy, but um, we'll see how it compares to the Chi Yi because I've heard you know good things about the Chi Yi, but not the others. And then we also got a new mat. So again, let's get into it. Let's get this mat open. Let's see. There we go. So this just seemed, it's really big, but it seemed really cool. And I feel like instead of having like 10 different mats, I can roll those up to go and just have this in my cubing space. So let's just go ahead and put that baby down. Oh, it looks great. Losing, oh, just don't have enough room up here. All right, there we go. But yeah, this is the new Moyu Cyberpunk, I think it's called, mat. It's got to be about like three feet by like one feet or one and a half feet. It's pretty big. <laughs> but anyways, then we'll get into our cubes here. So I was lucky to get a bunch of new cubes. The lubes, we can go up over at the end, but I'm sure pretty much everyone's familiar with those. If you're not, I'll go over them. But um, first, let's go over the Shangshao Magic Clock. Just let's get this out of the way. Um, I've always heard if you're going to get a clock at the Chi Yi and... My buddy just wanted to learn. Um, he said he just wanted to, to learn how to do it. So I said, well, go ahead and get the cheaper one. And um, I mean, it functions the same. I can definitely f understand why people say to get the, the Chi Yi, it definitely feels a little more quality, but um, essentially though, it's the exact same thing. Um, the pins are a little more flimsy, like the magnetic stability of those are a little more flimsy. I will say, so like you could get pins dropping on accident, something like that. Um, I will say it's nice though, they have the numbers. So like where 12 o'clock is, is actually numbered. So, and they have like colors at the three, six and nine. So you have kind of like a benchmark. Um, the other colors though, I will say all, all these other colors going on is kind of distracting. The plain black and white, I think I prefer to the blue color scheme. Um, it's this side specifically, I don't know why, but for my eyes, that's a little bit busy when you have these, these really kind of like, I, the blue is almost isn't light enough. Those almost should be like white 
arrows. I know they're going for like the blue on blue color scheme, but it's just, oh, it's almost not bright enough. That one just isn't popping up for me. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a clock. <laughs> um, but yeah, it, it, I don't, yeah, I mean, it, it functions well. But um, I still would probably recommend the Chi if you're gonna be serious about clock, just because if you're gonna get into it long term, you know, the difference between like this was ten like ten ninety nine, I think the Chi is like thirty five or something like that. So uh, yeah, I would definitely recommend the Chi. But uh, again, if you're just trying to play around with clock, this is absolutely good. This is absolutely a fine puzzle. Uh, let's put that there for now. Um, so let's get into the seven by seven so this is the wrm alfu seven by seven and here's the box um, and i think in our accessory kit yeah it's just just a screwdriver i'm not even gonna bother taking that out right now it's just a screwdriver um big cubes it's really not much more than that that you need but, um, wow, this feels very nice. So the only seven by seven I have before, or I had before this was the, um, Maylong. So that's kind of where I'm comparing to. Um, and I actually have it right here. Um, it's interesting. They feel a little similar. This one has a little bit more like a bumpy or like tactile feel. It has like, you can see there's more rounded off pieces. It's not as flat piece to piece contact it has more of like a you can you can really feel that bumpiness um just a, but it's very very slight i just mean in comparison to the maylong um but I mean, it turns great okay, so excuse my cold hands but yeah it does tur turn really nice Ooh, M slices are nice. Yeah, wow. I'm excited to get going on this. Um, I, my times have been increasing a lot on 7x7, seven seven, just sheer practice. But um, yeah, this is going to be exciting to solve on. It's a little bit, I don't know if this is because those pieces are more rounded off, but it does feel a slightly more... I might just need to tighten it. This is where some, some customization and um, adjustment might come in. But it does feel slightly more flimsy. Like when I when I flex this cube, the Maylong, it doesn't seem to flex as much. Like this cube has a little more flex to it. And it, it does seem like when I'm turning the layers, I get a little bit more, more of a catch. Um, but again, I might just need some adjustment to make that right. Um, but uh, from everything I've ever heard about this cube, this should be amazing. Um, it's like, I think two and a half times the price of the Maylong. I think these are like $50, uh, $47.99, something like that. But yeah, it's a, it's a really smooth, smooth cube. And seven by sevens or big cubes, um, I feel like are not easy to get down feeling, um, feeling kind of like a three by three, where you can turn like a three by three. Um, that's, that's the thing I liked about the Maylong is it's real nice and small. So it's like something like a J perm where you need to use that, that finger to do the F prime. Um, it actually is doable where this, this is, I can feel it's just like the tiniest bit bigger, but it's still totally doable. Um, but like right there, I got an extra layer turning. So that's some stuff I'll just have to work with tensioning, lubing. But um, so far, it, it feels great. I mean, I can't can't say anything bad about it. I haven't done any solves on it yet. But um, yeah, that's the Moyu Alfu 7x7. Um, let's see. Let's compare the shades. They're both from Moyu, essentially. Mofeng, Jiaoshi, and Moyu. So I would guess they're going to be very similar. This one, the, the Mei Wong has like the slightest darker green. I don't know if you can tell from that camera. This one is just ever so slight. Uh, you can't, I think look, they look almost identical, but yeah, very similar. Um, it just makes you also wonder if you should just 
spend the twenty dollars to get the May long or if you should go for the Haofu then um, if they're that similar. Just a thought. Um, but that's kind of why I had to get it is to, to see, you know, you won't know until you try it and it feels great. But like I said, I've, I've had really good experiences with that May long so far. So, all right, now let's get to what everyone I feel like wants to see, which is the Vin cube, uh, and the Moyu 20 magnet WRMV9. So let's do the Vin cube first. So the Vin cube, I got the UV coded version. I believe it says on here yeah uv coated and first thing i can tell you when i open the box i can smell it um if anyone that's seen my channel knows that i uv coat cubes all the time i, I can absolutely smell whatever they use to uv coat this um the box just like reeks like it i have a feeling they probably coated it and then you know wiped it off and everything and just poop threw it in the box because it sounds it, it smells like it's just been like trapped in there. Um, so the overall experience opening, it was a little intense. The smell, ooh, I, ju I just know that smell. Um, but uh, the cube itself, let's, let's go to the, yeah, actually to the cube itself. And real quick, let's go to its accessories actually. Um, Cause I've heard this has kind of like a, yeah, a nice velvety black bag, which can't complain about that. That's nice. Um, but yeah. But we don't buy it for the bag. <laughs> and it does have like a good metal uh, screwdriver instead of a little plastic one for once. But um, yeah, the cube itself, he it says UV coated. You see, it looks nice. Um, there's like the minor imperfections that come with just factory UV coating. Let's see if I can get it in the glare. Yeah, you can see like little, right there, like little dips and wrinkles. Um, but that's, that's just, come be the to expect it at this point. Um, so to be honest, <laughs> this feels a lot like an MGC to me. Um, I know that everyone has compared it to an MGC already, but uh, let me just move some of this out of the way, sorry. But um, I have to say it does feel like a brand new MGC. Uh, with UV coating and especially since I can I can UV coat my own cubes um, I kind of feel like this is I just took my MGC and UV coated it um, It is smooth though. I mean like I haven't had a, an out-of-the-box MGC in a while so I can't you know mine has a little bit of loop in it so it feels a little different but um, I mean even even the the holes, I mean, look at those corner holes. Those are like the iconic look of the MGC. Um, yeah, it's it's. Um, sorry, I'm just kind of sussing it up here. Like, it's it's very much like an MGC. It feels like a UV coated MGC to me. I'm very. I, I honestly, I, I almost wish I would have got the glossy plastic one to see if that would have just been almost exactly like an MGC. I mean, I know that there, there is the difference of, um, let's see if I can get it on camera here. Of There's, see the primary internals on the center cap here? So there is a little bit of difference where the MGC, I believe, is all colored, um, but they still have a cap. So it's, it's just primary instead of colored. Um, so yeah, my, my first opinions of this is very much feels like an MGC. I don't know if I would recommend going out and getting it if you have an MGC at this point. Like I kind of feel like I have a, another MGC. Um, but I will say it's not a bad cube though at all. Um, the UV coating looks nice, it feels nice. Um, it actually reminds me more of the UV coating that I do. It has a little bit better better grip. So I can say this actually has a really good grip to it. Um, and that's, it, I don't know, it just, it doesn't look perfect though. It has some slight imp imperfections to the UV coating. Might just be that they're a new com newer, smaller company. I know they're a subset of YJ, I believe. Um, but yeah, um, this is giving off a lot of MGC vibes, just to be honest. Um, and I even cleaned my MGC recently to get back to that new feeling, and it really does remind me of it. And it's even, I believe, I want to, let me, let me grab it real quick, because I believe they're even the same in size. So 
Sorry about that. But here we go. Let's really look at them side by side here. So you get them even. So you tell me that those corner holes don't look identical. I mean, can you even tell me which one is which at this point? I mean, now you can, you can see the, the glare on that one. But again, if you would have got the, the glossy plastic, would it just be this cube? I mean, the shades, the shades look identical. I mean, this is getting very, very, Yeah, honestly, so, again, nothing against the cube itself because it turns and feels amazing, but so does the MGC, um, and this cube's been around for a long time and is even cheaper, I believe. Um, I think this one's like $29.99 for the UV-coated one and $24.99 for the non-UV, so it's $5 more, and I believe you're going to get very similar to what you might already have if you have the MGC. So that's my that's my personal opinion, my personal takeaway. Um, we can even do the weights on these. Let's see here. Because this, the VIN cube does feel slightly heavier. All right, the MGC 114. Wow, I was I was right, but it's they're very close. 118 for the VIN cube, so that could even just be the UV coating at this point. Um, so that just shows too, very similar. Um, yeah, that that's just my personal opinion. Not saying don't get it if you want to get it. You know, try it out if you want. But um, I'm just giving you my own personal opinion there that they're very close, a little little too close in my opinion. Um, so lastly here we have the WRM V9. 20 magnet version so i've been looking for my main forever i've been i have the special edition wrmv9 the ball core uv i have the um the standard i mean i think i have every version at this point except for this one and i've recently made the special edition my main and everywhere sold out i had to find it on back on pie cube shop and order it so i'm waiting for that to get here also but um in the meantime here we go, we have the 20 magnet, and I'm hoping, I was hoping this one would really be um, maybe that sweet spot where I just really, oh, I forgot, this has that different tool. This has the tool more like the Super Way Long, I believe. It's not the standard Moyu. Um, it does have some other stuff in here though. Um, just like a little Team Moyu card. Some more MOU advertising stuff, how to use the accessory tool, um, and then a big old how to solve guide, I'm guessing. Um, put all this back in here. But um, yeah, let's see how this cube feels, because I'm, I'm very curious. You know, I heard that it had slightly lighter mag... <laughs> Whoa. Uh, I heard it had slightly lighter magnets. Um, to balance out the extra magnetic force going on within the, the core there. Let's get some room here. Whoa. So it's on the verge of uncontrollable out, out of the box. And that might be because I'm kind of cold and I haven't been cubing really. I'm just doing this unboxing, but um, it's, it's pretty darn fast. Let's see. Oh, that was a U4. First try, U4. Um, so it's, it's not just me, it is fast. <laughs> so that's the other thing I was wor worried about is the M slices would be a little too fast if, if it's that fast. Um, and they are very, I mean, you pretty much need one flick and you can do an M3 or almost M4, uh, which is a little bit, you know, worrisome, but that's, I think where the lube is going to come in. Um, that's, wow, it's just, it's like breathtakingly fast. Because um, I thought the WRM V9 ball core UV edition, the, I thought the auto alignment and the speed on that were fast. But this, this is ridiculous it, it, in a good way. I mean, it's just, it's 
see. Corner cutting, over 45. Let's see, reverse. Oh, no problem. So, corner cutting's great. Performance seems good. Um, it just it feels like there's like zero resistance anywhere on the cube and it's just floating. Um, I mean, when you, when you do a flick, it's like it's gonna land at 90 degrees. I don't think it can stop anywhere but there. Like, <laughs> I'm like, barely, I'm trying to get it to stop any, like in the middle. Oh, there it is. But if you bump in again, it's, yeah, it, it's very strong on the auto alignment. So that's if something you have to be careful for. If you don't like that feeling where the cube is turning for you, um, that's kind of been the, the debate about all this ball, um, edge repelling magnets and all what, what all that does is it ha adds a lot of, to the auto alignment and the extra magnets in the core also. So yeah, that, that's something to be warned about. Um, I mean, so it's not, but one thing when cubes are too fast, a lot of times, oh, there it just literally just happened as I was going to say, it doesn't happen. So um, a lot of times if I'm, when I'm just doing, taking out a pair and putting it back in like this, um, it just doing it really fast. If it's the cubes unlubed and it's too fast, it'll do a U2 and you'll notice that that pair is not in front. It's over on this side. Um, so that, that's kind of like when I notice that a cube is maybe, maybe needs a little extra lube or something. So I might end up putting a little extra on that when I lube it. I'm going to put like always on one piece, I'll put the angstrom combo. So this is where we can get into the, actually, I want to take this cube apart. Um, I don't need to for any reason, but I do want to see the inside. Oh my gosh, look at that. Like even just, like I can't, almost can't even put it at 45 degrees to sit, to take the piece out. Okay, there we go. I wanted that to be with little resistance. I don't want to break this thing right away. So there's your edge repelling magnets. You have your corner magnets, which I w this is what I really wanted to see. So they do protrude quite a bit. Sorry if it's going in and out of focus. There we go. You can see they do stick out a bit, which means they're stronger than the special edition and closer to how the ball core UV, um, how much they stick out. Because that, I don't know if you, any of you remember, I had, did the video where I compared the special edition magnet, corner magnets to the ball core UV. And the ball core UV had much bigger corner magnets and that it contributed to a much stronger magnet feel. So, oh, it has a red core. You can see the core in there. That's interesting, I did not know that. A red 20 magnet ball core. I can take out another piece so you guys can see. But there it is. So I'm really, really anxious to get some lube into this. Oh my gosh, sorry about that. She has to make a cameo. I think every video, it's just, just wouldn't be her, <laughs> her space if she didn't get a cameo. But uh, I'm really anxious to get lube into this thing because Um, it's really hard to get this cube to stay at 45 degrees. The pieces actually weren't hard to get in and out. It was just hard to get the, the actual cube to stay misaligned. Um, all right, so now let's go through our loops. Now that we've actually seen the cube, it has standard, oh, I didn't show it, but it's it's just standard. Moe dual adjustment. Still have your compression cup and your screw and maglev, um, or screw and spring if you had a you know, spring cube. But um, let's go through the lubes now because that's what I'm going to do next for this cube. Um, I did also get, like I said, I mentioned a maglev kit. I like to have those in case I want a maglev a cube for a giveaway or something. And also I got the blank center caps, um, pretty much just because Moe doesn't want you to have them. <laughs> Um, but uh, then again, a little bit of weight three, that's just good to have. It's weight five is, is, is really good for the core and everything, but weight three is just a good all, all purpose I found. Um, so we got FC Rush 
DNM 37, but the ice blue one. I don't, I don't know why, but I like the blue better. Um, again, weight three, and then the angstrom combo. So the angstrom is really what, what I'm gonna take out first. I do just a little bit on one piece. So I don't know why I just put that piece back in because I don't have to take it back out, but. But yeah, just one edge piece usually is where I'll start because I don't want to over lube it because it's so much easier to add some than it is to subtract. And subtracting is essentially just cleaning the cube. So what I'll do is I'll take about really just that much, like one little glob and I'll run it through the tracks on both sides. So you can see, clearly see the tracks and then also like wherever the the um, scaling or the pattern is I'll rub it around there because it's obviously meant to hold and just dis distribute lube so I'll put a little bit on there because that's, that's going to make contact as well and then we'll go ahead and switch to our angstrom dignitas I believe this one is oh, I have it sealed this one might be a must leak or something. It's the slightly more goopy one. But again, um, just a really small glob like that is going to do both tracks. Because again, this is, this is for the entire cube. This is going to get distributed amongst the entire cube. So Anyone that knows how to lube their cube, obviously you can exit video now, but anyone that wants to learn <clears throat> how I do it at least, um, that's what I do is I run angstrom on both the tracks and all of the contact points, pretty much all over the piece besides the flat sides. Um, and then what I'll do is I'll reinsert this piece. I swear this cube is so hard to keep misaligned. But that should be a good thing, right? Alright, and now we'll tighten it just ever so slightly so it's not falling apart on us. Okay, and now you can start just kind of just cycling the lube through the cube. Because again, that little bit of lube we put in there is trying to get onto all the pieces. And it's not a drastic feel because you don't want it to be drastic when it's that too drastic it's going to start coming up and it's going to get thicker on you and that's going to slowly slowly lead to more and more um, problems until you have to clean it to get it back to where you want it so now this is where i'm just going to put like a couple drops of weight three so we're going to put on our distribution cap we're going to open it up and and i mean really just a couple drops And then it starts coming, it, this is a little bit thinner than the weight five, obviously. So when you push it, it starts to come out pretty quickly. So I'll usually flip it and do two corners, one on each side, and that's it. I mean, it was a very small amount. I mean, this thing will last me forever. <laughs> um, I still have some of my other one, actually. I just can't hurt to have a little more. Um, and that will just give us slightly cushioned and slightly slower feel because this cube was was so fast um i don't mind putting a little bit of that in the pieces a lot of times i'll use the silicone lubes mostly just in the core um, but with this cube being so fast again we're going to need to slow it down a little bit just just to get it manageable but it's already feeling so much nicer um it's a little, just a little bit loose for me um, but this is where also um, I'll put in I'm going to break out something I already have which is the FC Calm and so this it feels like it speeds your cube up slightly in the moment but um, it does kind of gum up 
over time. So this is where like it might feel a little bit fast because it's a it's a thin lubricant. It's very watery, um, but I'm just gonna put one drop in opposing corners, and then we'll just oh, there's the cap. Get that on. And again, we've only really put like a very small amount of each one, and it's gonna be the combination of all of them together that comes together and really feels nice. Um, yeah, this is where I honestly don't even need any FC rush or any of that right now because this cube is so, um, is so fast. And that's where I think it also needs to be tensioned and compressed and whatnot. But um, that was just a real quick like how to on lubing your cube just because I had to go through my cube or my lubes anyways. So I figured I might as well show it. But um, yeah, just recap on our products here. Um, we got the MoU 20 magnet. It's extremely fast. It's, it's a great cube. It feels amazing, but it is very fast. So beware of that. Um, it's, it's not, it's almost unstable fast, to be honest. Those 20 magnets help it keep rigidity and whatnot, but it is so fast that it, it, it'll, it, it will overshoot. So I think lubing, like I said, compressing, lubing, all that, um, getting it dialed in will be huge. Um, that's actually the MGC. That just shows you how close they are. I grabbed the wrong one. Um, the VIN cube, great cube, just very much like the MGC. I, I'm very curious what the glossy plastic one is like because I have a feeling it's very close, but again, not a bad cube by any means, just very similar to something I've felt before. Um, then we had our lubes, we had our maglev kit and everything, the blink center caps, and our magic clock. Super cool. Uh, the clock is something I've loved doing. And then they had the Alfu, the 7x7, which this is a great cube. Um, I'm so excited about this cube. Can't wait to do more solves on it, get it broken in properly. But um, yeah, that's, an that's my unboxing for you guys today. Um, it was a pretty big one. We had a lot of stuff. Uh, just wanted to get through it so I could honestly play with all my cubes now. So you guys have a great day and uh, take care. We'll see you soon.